Hi everyone, welcome to Sandra Sensations. I'm going to be doing a test tonight. I want to find out what the difference is using Saks. It's called True Flow Heavy Body Acrylic versus Arteza's Premium Acrylic Colors. Now I just got a box of, I think it's 60 colors in. Hold on one sec, let me grab the box cover. This one. I know I've seen lots of painters use this and I was really excited to order myself some. Got it off Amazon. Just got it today. Mixed up some colors and we're going to give this a try. So what I did was I picked the exact same colors. We have emerald green in the Saks True Flow. Also a heavy bodied paint. Saks heavy bodied acrylic True Flow in the phalo blue so that's the sax the white base is sax and then we've got arteza's emerald green same as the sax and the phalo blue in arteza same color as the sax so these are exactly the same colors of paint just from different companies this one's a true flow heavy acrylic this one's a premium acrylic which is comes out very similar in consistency. I think Arteza is might be a little bit thicker. I stirred them up, the exact same mixture, glue and water. I don't know if you can see the consistency of it coming off the stick, but it's exactly the same in both styles of paint. The Saks versus Arteza. They're, they're pouring out exactly the same. So let's give this a try and see which painting turns out better. I've got two 10 by 10 canvases in front of me. White Saks Heavy Body Acrylic already on there with the glue and water mixed. I'll move that out of the way. Move these big bottles out of the way now that I've shown you. So we're just going to do the phalo blue, emerald green, one on each canvas. A little bit of white with silicone in it. I have it in this little bottle right here. And I'm just going to blow it out. We'll see how it looks. One thing I forgot to show in past videos, something that I do with my drippings after I'm done a painting, I've got a tray of magnets. There's all my drippings. I quickly dip it, let it dry, then I spray it with a quick little varnish. And we got fridge magnets. My granddaughter, who's seven, has probably got a collection of about 12 of these right now. Every time she visits grandma, she gets to take home a magnet or two. But don't worry, I'm still the candy grandma as well. I fill them with as much sweets as I possibly can and then send them home to my daughter, who I owe dearly for her teenage years, let's say. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly blow this get some of the bubbles out. We're going to do a quick blowout. Okay. So, Sax is on this side. I'm going to do probably two thick lines of this. This is the phalo blue going down. Put that aside. Emerald green. I'll probably do exactly the same design on the other one as well. Why not? Let's just do the exact same design. Phalo blue of the Aztec, what's it called? Aztez, Arteza, sorry. The Arteza paint. That was a blooper. I forgot what it was. Always keeping it real on this channel. Okay, then we got the emerald green. There we go. Not exactly the same, but similar. Now I'm going to put some of the white down that I have with the silicone I mentioned. This whole bottle's got two drops of silicone, not very much at all. And I'm just going to flood it all the way around this color I just put down here. And right through the center. And 
And then I'm going to get my blow dryer and make some noise. Boy, this could be a very quick video again. Gotta love the Dutch pours that you can just blow it out real quick. Okay, making noise. Just gonna let, sorry, I shut that off. Let that sit for five seconds, and then I'm gonna blow it out. Love the cells that are already happening. There's more cells happening in the sacks than there is so far in the Arteza. That's interesting. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna blow out Arteza first. That's this one right here. Gorgeous. I'm going to give it a torch, but I'm going to blow this one out first. them a torch. Wow, these are very different really, considering they're the exact same colors of paint, just from different companies. That's kind of surprising. Okay, this one is the Arteza, with some beautiful cells happening. And then we have the Saks. Sorry, I'm just going to wipe my hands off quickly. Which has got a lot of cells. This one's got quite a few, but this has got a lot. Lots of cells in this one. And I think the colors are a bit brighter. I'm really quite surprised. I didn't think the Sax was going to beat the Arteza, but I think in this test, Sax has got my vote. This is still really nice, but this one's nicer. All right, there we go. There's my test run with Sax True Flow Acrylics versus Arteza's Premium Acrylic Colors. This one's Sax, this one's Arteza. Let me know what you think. Which one is the better paint? Which one's got the better colors, showing the most cells? Leave me comments. Hit subscribe, please, if you haven't already. And if you are one of the ones that keeps coming back and watching my crazy paintings, thank you so much. You're awesome, and I very much appreciate it. Thanks, everyone.